Hoff Emily, Spencer Mack here. Today I'd like to share with you guys one of my favorite breathing exercises. I actually found this exercise in a Vipassana retreat that I did about six years ago. And it helped me to enter into a state where I had one of the most profound experiences of my life. The power of meditation cannot be understated. Now about three years ago, I started to really dive into the research of the Heart Math Institute, learning about heart rate variability and the vagus nerve. Now, our heart rate variability, they measure in a level of coherence. And that coherence is basically a sign as to whether or not you are in your parasympathetic nervous system or not. Of the autonomic nervous system, you have your parasympathetic and sympathetic branches. When you're in the parasympathetic, you're relaxed. It's the rest and digest half of the autonomic nervous system. The sympathetic is fight or flight. It's when you are tense, when you are alert, when you are active. So I ultimately got the EM wave, which is a product that they make at the Heart Math Institute. And it's a sensor you can hook up to your earlobe that then plugs into your phone and it will measure your level of coherence. Now, the coherence is actually, it's an interesting thing because it's measuring the time between your heartbeats. And when we're in a sympathetic state, it seems that our heartbeat is more militant, you could say. The beat is very consistent. There's not much difference in between the beats of the heart. When we're in a state of high coherence, in a parasympathetic nervous state, our heartbeat is a little more random. The higher degree of variance, the heart rate variability between the beats is a good thing. It demonstrates that you're in your parasympathetic nervous system and that your body's relaxed. It's in this state that we can really drop in, so to speak, in meditation. So I had that machine, the EM wave, and I was meditating with it regularly and experimenting with different breathing exercises to see what breath work or what uh, types of meditation, bringing my awareness to certain points, would influence my heart rate variability the most. And I found that that breathing exercise I found in the Vipassana was the most impactful. It could guarantee get me to a very high level of coherence every time. Um, I ended up actually investing in uh, a polar heart rate monitor, because these are one of the more accurate ones on the market, and another application that I got on my iPhone so that I could also test my heart rate variability there and during training. So what is the breathing exercise? To simplify it, it is ultimately us breathing in rhythm with our hearts. So it is first and foremost necessary to be able to feel your heartbeat. So for some people, it's easier to feel it in the chest. Some people can feel it in their head more easily. So when you bring your body to stillness and you relax, feel and see if you can find your heartbeat. You may not be able to at first, but with practice and the more that you relax, the more easily you'll be able to sense your heartbeat. Now when you find your heartbeat, Set the inhale length to the rhythm of your heart. Now I was finding with the EM wave that five breaths, a count of five or six heartbeats per exhale and per inhale was giving me the highest state of coherence. And I actually found that that was having me breathe a little bit more than I would have if I was just trying to relax and meditate. It was asking me to stretch my breath a little bit more. So the inhale, say my heartbeat is right here. 
I would exhale two, three, four, five, six. Inhale two, three, four, five, six. Exhale two, three, four, five, six. Inhale. And what begins to happen is you will be able to observe the amazing relationship between the lungs and the heart. The heart is that center of fire and the lungs, the air element, is what fuels that fire. And breathing in the most supportive manner that lets the heartbeat beat with the least amount of stress calms our whole body down. Because as the Heart Math Institute found, our heart has the most powerful magnetic field of any organ in our body. It is really the origin of many of our impulses. So much of the signaling our brain receives actually originates in the heart. So when we can learn to breathe in a manner that is supportive to our hearts, it puts our whole body at ease. Now you will also find that the heart slows down as you exhale. And often in pranayama, the yogic tradition of energy cultivation, breath work, they prescribe a longer exhale than they do an inhale. And you'll find that happens naturally, even if the count of the heart is the same. Now, as I said, it may be difficult to find your heartbeat at first, so you'll just have to find that place that you can feel it. The more relaxed you are and the more gentle you can breathe, the more stable your connection to that beat will be. Now, the, as you develop that, you'll be able to actually move your heart rate around, your heart beat, and feel it in different places in your body. Ultimately, you can actually expand it to encompass your entire body to where you feel your whole body pulsing with the breath, with the heartbeat. I've even used this heartbeat as my center of focus for my one-pointedness meditation to help me to overcome injuries. I've found that when I bring my heartbeat to the source of a pain, and I feel the heartbeat there, and I bring my breath there, I can actually accelerate the um, education that that injury has for me. There's an experience that every pain is there to teach you, and the sooner we can pay attention to it, and absorb, absolve the experience it's asking us to learn, the sooner we can move on. <laughs> So that is the heartbeat breath meditation. I would love to hear if you guys end up experimenting with it, the impact it has on you, if you've ever tried something similar to it. If you've experimented with heart rate variability yourself in the past, what are some practices that have helped you reach that highest state of coherence? Hmm. Easy breathing, my friends. Lots of love. Until next time. Peace.